information, certainly we'll pass it along. Biden issued the mandate as a means to combat the spread of COVID. Many state attorney general, including Derek Schmidt of Kansas, say they will challenge the mandate in court. Ottawa City officials are trying to speed up the process of approving development projects that come before them for approval. City planner Sarah Anzacek says the current system takes too long. Right now, according to our current regulations, site plans for new development must go through the public process and receive planning commission approval. So that means they have to have a submittal date to get on the agenda. There's public notice sent out, there's a cost for the application, all that, they go through the planning commission. So the commission's concern was that the time required to go through this process was maybe too onerous for each applicant and believed the city should be able to take on this task internally. And I found that most cities allow internal review of site plans. The city commission is expected to give their blessing to speeding up the process at a future meeting. And now for the exclusive KOFO Weather Center forecast. Tonight, clear with a low of 47. Tomorrow, sunny with a high of 71. Tomorrow night, clear with a low of 45. Thursday, sunny with a high of 77. Thursday night, clear with a low of 55. Friday, mostly sunny with a high of 80. Friday night, partly clear with a low of 50. Saturday, sunny with a high of 79. Saturday night, clear with a low of 52. Sunday, sunny with a high of 86. I'm Paige Rockhold, KOFO News. Stay tuned for the following special presentation from 1220 at 103.7 FM KOFO. KOFO is your sports source for East Central Kansas and home of Ottawa University Brave Sports. And tonight we welcome you to the Kent Kessinger Show, live from Primetime Grill at Fusion Alley in South Ottawa. You can join us live at Primetime Grill during the show and enjoy their delicious Kansas cuisine while we share some time with OU Braves head football coach Kit Kessinger. Tonight's show is brought to you by Primetime Grill at 2204 South Princeton Circle Drive in South Ottawa and by Ottawa University. Now live from Primetime Grill, here's your host, Bob Johnson. Well, hello again, everybody. It is Tuesday night. It is time for the Kent Kessinger Show live from Primetime Grill. And uh, coach threw a curveball this week. Is uh, we've also got the coordinators. Uh, we've got Nick Davis, Julian Mendez with us here tonight too. This is a uh, this is a nice price. I thought I'd pretty up the show a little bit. Well, Lord knows we need all the help we can get. Get some young people in here and let them uh, let them run around and see what happens. Um, so if you guys come down, we're here every Tuesday night uh, here at Primetime Grill, 2204 South Princeton Circle Drive in South Ottawa. And again, we can't hit it enough. The Poncho Super Cheese and the Super Chili and Cheese Burritos, which uh, I think, Coach, you gave the chef's kiss to. Is that correct? Uh, you know, I to be honest, I haven't had it yet. Because about every time we come in here, it's uh, about a 98-minute wait for us. But so That's Because we wait so late to get in here. We always think about it about five seconds before we're supposed to come down here. We do not plan ahead. We need to. We already talked about that last for next week. That, that is uh, planning ahead is always the key yep. and because uh, it's very popular there's a there's a bunch of folks here tonight there is again a great crowd here so yeah. it's, it's happy to see that happy to see them all here but, you know they all want to rush up get your autograph but i mean these two over here i mean they're i think the crowd is just going yeah no crazy doubt. for those no for these two so definitely um, so uh, another rough one man on saturday mcpherson went on the road it, first half things defensively were going well mm -hmm. offensively there were some struggles here and there but uh, finding a little bit of momentum but then the second half happened and, and uh man did it happen you had a chance to go back and look at film what were the differences in that second half well i, I think part of it in the first half offensively and i'll let coach mendez talk to this here a little bit but um you know we just we get a good play going for us, you know, first downs when we put the ball in the quarterback's hands, you know, we were able to uh, create some positive yards and, and then we would get holding penalties. I think we ended up having eight or 10 holding penalties on us offensively throughout the game. And, uh, you know, you take a good drive, a good play and you move it back and then you're playing behind the chains again, instead of ahead of them. And that was a little bit of our issue there. And then, 
you know, defensively, you know, we tried to make sure that we could keep them off the field. And I think we slowed the game down a little bit in the first half and they did a really good job. We pitched a shutout at halftime, you know, all the way through the first half. And it just got to the point where I think we gave up some short fields, special teams, um, especially on the punt returns when we ha we were deep. We, we had a couple things where we started with some pretty terrible uh, field position to start off with, which uh, then not being able to get, you know, a couple, two or three first downs out of it, we didn't. We gave up some returns that short fields, and you know I think they. I don't. Coach Davis will probably talk about the number of times that they started at or around the 50-yard line going in. Um, that really, you know, gives them short fields and gave them opportunities. And you know they just started running downhill and downhill and downhill and started popping a couple of those. Well, and I'll go with Coach Davis here real quick. It, defensively, do you feel like it just maybe ran out of gas in that second half? Well, I felt like that the first half we played the best we've played all season in terms of a half of football. And then that second half we came out and again, the short field, you miss a tackle and now they're down in the red zone and now they're practicing all their red zone plays. They've been working all week against what we do. So it gets pretty easy down there. So uh, what I have found is, you know, about 10 of our 11 guys did their jobs on a lot of plays. And then that, 11th guy cost us in that second half and you bring up the tackling issue i mean a, a lot of bouncing off but then it also seemed like plenty of opportunities when they had them wrapped up they just couldn't finish yeah we're uh, when we practice that every single day our graduate assistant actually has a station where he does tackling every day and it's a focus issue and you get tired and you're out there on the field and, and that's when you see late in the drives those missed tackles happen they usually don't happen on first down it's that third fourth fifth play where we're tired and we're not focused in and locked into what we need to do but that's just the uh, continue we got to keep working it and get better at it coach mendez offensively uh, sacks were were a big deal in, the, in that ball game the quarterbacks running for their life uh eight sacks given up yeah i mean that that's something that Obviously, me being the office coordinator, but being the offensive line coach, you want to have stressing the issue of protecting the quarterback, giving our quarterback the opportunity to to run our offense. And within what we were doing up front and the pressure that we talked about before the game, Bob, was that was going to be a key of, of us protecting our guys and and staying within our scheme. And and just like Coach Davis said, it could be that one guy working away from the scheme or not not having that focus to to get a letdown into sacks happen. And so we'll, I'll let all three of you answer this. So we'll start with you. At this point in the season, what do you do to make those changes or fix those errors? Uh, it's still focusing on the little things every single day of, of staying focused when you're tired, understanding what we're trying to get done, um, and just continually to trust each other. When you're when you're not trusting each other, you're trying to do somebody else's job or stay within, um, or stay without what we're doing. It's it's not eleven working at one common goal. Coach Davis. Yeah, I think uh, there's been a lot of negative things the last four weeks in terms of missed assignments. That I got to focus on the positives uh, because I think if you only focus on negative, it really affects the kid's mindset. So. We got to build on the positives and when we watched film we showed some of the the big plays that hurt us but then we watched that first half where we were lights out on defense and showed our kids that they can and left them with the lasting effect of man when we're rolling we can be really good so i think we just got to focus on defense of the positivities and if you look at if you look at the game and you can find those things like for example i think well we're, they were one of nine on of third down in the first half um, we obviously shut them out in the first half uh, defensively. Uh, offensively, we showed them plays that, you know, if we gave our quarterback time, you know, we did well. Uh, you know, Caleb was 10 of 15 of the of the day. Um, Dakota came in there and did a, a very good job of when they were not, and we talked about it during, during the post game, is, you know, they weren't counting on the quarterback at all to be a runner. We were able to add that strategic part to the game, and we we were able to create some some plays for us. And so, if we if we let those if we let the quarterbacks you know protect them, we open some holes. Then then you can kind of put some things together. You do that on offense. You do that in defense. 
and then all of a sudden things go a little bit more in your way in your favor we're going to take our first break of the evening right here when we come back i want to talk about the running game because uh james reader had a, had a really good game on saturday dalen johnson also ran well so we want to talk a little bit about that we want to discuss a little bit more about the defense and uh get more thoughts from head coach ken kessinger by the way since you all three are here tonight and uh, i was really trying to think I, I was working on should we do homer call but we're gonna we're gonna do homer call next week we'll do homer call next week but we're doing we're bringing back an old one here we're doing four questions tonight and there may be a bonus oh, fifth. they were looking forward to either something like that or the pyramid uh it well they're going to get a taste of the pyramid. We might even work in some family feud somewhere down the line. But uh, but tonight, tonight it's going to be four questions. We're going, we're going old school. All right. So we will take our first break right here. When we come back, we'll discuss more about uh, the game on Saturday. And don't forget, you can come here to Primetime Grill, not only just for the King Kessinger Show on Tuesday nights, but they have great food all week long. And you can order over the phone, order online. If you want to give them a call, 242-7841, or go to primetimegrill.com and put your order in there. First break of the night, you're listening to the Kent Kessinger Show live from Primetime Grill at Fusion Alley. It's the perfect combination of food, fun, and football. The Kent Kessinger Show, Tuesday nights at Primetime Grill. And that combination just got even better because now you can enjoy the show while you enjoy a blast from the past. Poncho Super Cheese or Super Chili and Cheese Burrito. That's right, Poncho Super Cheese or Super Chili and Cheese Burritos are back. And they're only at Primetime Grill on Tuesdays. Enjoy all of your other menu favorites, the full-service bar, and more at Primetime Grill, 2204 South Princeton Circle Drive. For game time and Poncho's Burritos, it's prime time. Ottawa University has positioned itself as a distinctive and rapidly expanding institution known for its innovative educational models, exceptional value, and special ability to prepare diverse student populations for lifetimes of enlightened faith, exemplary service, inspired leadership, and personal significance. With numerous undergraduate and graduate degrees in business, education, arts and sciences, athletics, and more, you'll gain the specific expertise you need for a lifetime of significance and prosperity. Find out more by visiting ottawa.edu slash O-U-K-S. Hey, I just heard it was possible to get a customized auto quote from Liberty Mutual Insurance. 100% customized for what you need and not for what you don't. Have you ever asked, why should I pay for what I don't need? Like when I buy fancy mixed nuts, I don't want that big nut that takes up all the space. With Liberty Mutual, you can save money when you buy customized auto insurance. Pay only for what you need. This message was brought to you by Liberty Mutual Insurance. Visit LibertyMutual.com to learn more. Ugh, my stomach. Don't worry, I've got you covered. When you have nausea, heartburn, indigestion, upset stomach, diarrhea. What's that? It's Pepto-Bismol chews. Pepto-Bismol's in a chew? Yeah, they taste great and provide fast relief. And you can always have Pepto-Bismol handy. Ooh, let me try it. Try Pepto-Bismol chews for fast relief. Nausea, heartburn, indigestion, upset stomach, diarrhea. Use is directed. Keep out of reach of children. Have you ever thought about why listening to the radio is better for you than spending all your time staring at your phone? We are hands-free. So in the car, you can keep your eyes on the road, where they should be. We don't need your personal information, so you don't have to worry about spam from us. And all you have to do is listen, not waste your time scrolling through an endless sea of recipes, memes, and cat videos. Radio, the original social media, and your source for information and entertainment at 1220 and 103.7 FM KOFO. the 234th year of the United States Constitution as the supreme law of the land. 
The Constitution establishes the basic structure of our federal government and the laws by which that government must abide. These laws, created by our founding fathers, are the Bill of Rights, the first ten amendments of the Constitution. In 1955, the Daughters of the American Revolution, the DAR, petitioned the U.S. Congress to pass a resolution to annually observe and commemorate our Constitution. It was passed unanimously, and on August 2nd of 1956, President Dwight Eisenhower signed into law Public Law 915, establishing Constitution Week to be observed each year on the week of September 17th. In observance of Constitution Week, September 17th through the 23rd, please fly our our nation's flag with pride, then access a copy of the U.S. Constitution either at the library or on the internet and read it with family and friends. Did you miss your front row seat at Arrowhead last season? Not this, this year. year. KOFO and Furniture Loft are sending you back to Arrowhead to watch the most exciting team in football. Your, your Kansas, Kansas City, City Chiefs. Chiefs. You and a friend in front row seats to watch the Chiefs. Just stop by Furniture Loft on Market Street in Osage City or Emporia on West US 50 and register once per visit. Only one win per season. No purchase necessary. Must be 18 to win. The next ticket giveaway is for the Chiefs versus the Chargers, September 26th. Winner announced September 23rd on the Brad Howard Early Morning Show. Have you ever thought about why listening to the radio is better for you than spending all your time staring at your phone? We are hands-free, so in the car, you can keep your eyes on the road, where they should be. We don't need your personal information, so you don't have to worry about spam from us. And all you have to do is listen, not waste your time scrolling through an endless sea of recipes, memes, and cat videos. Radio, the original social media, and your source for information and entertainment at 1220 and 103.7 FM, KOFO. Ottawa Bible Church is a growing and thriving gospel-centered church. I'm Dave Edwards, a member of OBC, and I'd like to invite you to join us each Sunday morning as we gather for a rich sense of community, lively worship, and the expository preaching of the Word of God. We offer a mid-morning breakfast at 845, adult and children's Sunday school at 915, and services are at 8 and 1015. More about us can be found at ottawabiblechurch.com. We hope to see you soon. Susan, it's so great to finally be able to get together again. Oh, it sure is. And I really appreciate you picking up the bill. I'm happy to. I've got the extra cash. Since we've all been driving so much more again, I've been using GetUpside, the free gas app that pays you cash back for every gallon of gas you buy. Wait a minute. Are you saying you actually get paid cash when you buy gas with the GetUpside app? Yes, up to 25 cents a gallon. Cash back every time I buy gas. Does that actually add up to anything? Some months I make 200 to 300 bucks. What? Wow, that's serious extra cash. I'm downloading the free GetUpside app now. Download the free GetUpside app now in the App Store or Google Play to save up to 25 cents a gallon when you buy gas. Use promo code WORK for a 25 cents a gallon bonus on your first tank. That's up to 50 cents a gallon on your next fill-up. You can cash out anytime to PayPal or an e-gift card for Amazon and other brands. Just download the free GetUpside app and use promo code WORK for a 25 cents a gallon bonus on your first tank. That's code WORK. And we are back here at Primetime Grill. It's the Kent Kessinger Show at Primetime Grill and Fusion Alley. Uh, sorry for the technical difficulties that uh, we had sometimes. Sometimes it happens. You know, in the entire time that we've uh, done the show from here, that's the first time that we've ever had a, any sort of technical issues. Well, you know, you just got to be able to adapt and overcome, Bob. And it looks like we have so far. We have. We're going to stay positive. That's what we're doing right here. We are uh, positive Tuesday. Positive Tuesday. Can I get ordered? Uh, we'll have to evaluate your film before you get official order. Well, there's no film. It's probably audio. Just audio? Probably just audio. Mm. You don't want film of this. I was thinking reel to reel, maybe even. <laughs> Eight millimeter? Eight millimeter, reel to reel. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Those old school. Actually, it's the fish or the you know like in schools when they used to read or have like books that went along with it little slides yeah there you go that's probably what it is uh -huh. so. so we before we uh, went to break we wanted to uh bring up a little bit more about uh the run game and uh we'll, and we'll start with you coach mendez uh, james reader 
Uh, we saw him at the end of the, the game against Avila, and he was really running well. And he came out and, and again had a, had a real good performance uh, against McPherson, 110 yards, a touchdown on the ground. Uh, he's really kind of brought a little bit of a spark to this run game. Yeah, I mean, you, uh, we talked about it on Saturday before the game. Uh, I'm always so excited to see James and, and his progression to come back from the injury that he had and to really get himself going. And I think right now he's, he's definitely progressing each week and getting back to the, the caliber of running back that he can be. Um, and it's, it's for sure, I'm always his number one fan to see him run. So uh, it, he did provide that spark that we needed um, to get going on Saturday. Dalen Johnson also ran well, 53 yards, well, 49 yards if you uh, go with the official, but uh, he gained 53. We'll yeah. leave it at that. Uh, but uh, he ran well too, and uh, it was it was good to see that uh, there were at times that they the the run game was working really well. When it was working well, what was the difference? Uh, we just had to go through some adjustments and and do things that that fit to what was working for us in the game. Um, and then, like Coach K said, was being able to bring in um, Dakota a little bit as well and kind of have that different factor of a quarterback being able to to run the ball a little bit. And it, it, it'll start opening up some gaps for us. But um, it definitely, definitely was positive to see those guys being able to get some positive runs and, and get our, some, some more confidence. And Coach Davis, for you, it was good to see uh... – Colby Johnson again, just uh, defensively kind of out there making plays, ended up with 12 total tackles. But Jensen Riffle, uh, he ended up with 10, he and a forced fumble on the night. So uh, you know you, you're going to say you're always going to see Colby Johnson, and you're going to see Jacob Garcia near the top of. But Jensen Riffle had a nice game himself. Yeah, we're uh, continuing to evaluate who kind of our best 11 are that give us the best chance to win. And uh, we thought Jensen Riffle uh, had a really great week of practice and we put him in position to make some plays. Now, um, he had a few busts that cost us, so we got to sure those things up. But there's a lot more positive than negative um, with him. And then we actually had uh, Christian Coggs, a freshman defensive lineman, got a sack and got his first collegiate start. And uh, he played really good for a freshman in, in that situation. So we got some young guys that got some good experience on Saturday that uh, did a really good job for us. And again, we yeah we talked about that first half. We uh, you brought up Christian Cogs, and as a freshman, it, he he really kind of made his presence known pretty quickly. Uh, is this something we're going to see him out there maybe a little bit more? Yeah, for sure. Uh, we had some injuries on the defensive line, and that kind of thrust him in that position. But we knew he had the ability, and he's shown us for the last five weeks. Just it's on me as the coordinator to get him out on the field, and we got him out on the field, and he showed what he could do. So he's going to be a guy that's uh, hopefully, you know, knock on wood for the next four years, making a lot of plays for the Braves. Coach K, as you mentioned, uh, talking about the positives, we mentioned a little bit about the run game. We mentioned uh, some of the defense. Maybe what's something that people wouldn't have noticed, either uh, watching the game, on, uh, watching the video stream, or listening to the to the broadcast that maybe is missed. Well, one of the things I told the guys at the end of the game that is, I thought that they continued to battle themselves, you know, through the game, and it wasn't it wasn't something that you know, if you if you. There's been some teams in the past that I, you know that you've watched and you've seen, and and we haven't had too much of that here at Ottawa, which is really good. But where they get down, and you can tell they're just about ready to get steamrolled, um, and that sort of thing. And our guys, you know, kept fighting. They kept on battling, you know, going out there and and trying to make plays. You know, whether it was offensively or defensively, um, that's kind of an energy that I thought that the quarterbacks were doing a pretty good job with. You know, Dakota was a little different than Caleb, and Caleb was a little different than Dakota, but they kept on battling through the game, and and uh, that's where I think you really saw James James Reader, you know, really kind of established himself in the game as being a guy that was going to go hard downhill the whole time. Did a really good job in the pass blocking. He he was. He was probably one of our better pass blockers at the in the running back position, being able to pick up some stuff. And then, you know, defensively, you just you saw some guys fly around and, and try to continue to make plays. And 
and that worked into the special teams as well. I think, you know, we had some pretty good plays in the special teams. We, we contained him. Adam Gilbert, unfortunately, we've given him a lot of opportunities to punt the ball, but he has done a really pretty good job for us. Um, so, you know, again, knock on wood, not to be superstitious or anything like that, but we want to want to keep that going and he really did a very good job for us i was going to ask how his hamstring was i mean there's a <laughs> yeah. lot of extension he had several there. opportunities and that sort of thing so we, we gave him sunday and monday off but uh he had to kick some balls today so you know, we were it looked like he was okay so now you get ready for bethel bethel ends up uh they they lose to kansas wesley and actually in front 24 17 in the third quarter and kansas wesley and scores two unanswered and 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 beats Bethel. So now you've got a, an angry Threshers team coming to Advent Health Field this weekend. Um, and as with Threshers teams, as we've seen, it's really going to be about stopping their option. Yeah, definitely. They don't throw the ball very much. I don't know if the quarterback's thrown over 10 times this year or anything like that. So it's, it's, it's going to be a ground and pound type thing, a very physical type of of game defensively i know coach davis will can speak to this but it is it's all about understanding what your assignments are and doing your job not worrying about the other person's job if you're supposed to take the dive you take the dive you're supposed to take the quarterback take the quarterback if you're supposed to be on the pitch on the pitch you can't have the pitch guy going to the dive and can't have the dive guy going to the pitch um you got to be really disciplined be disciplined with it now the thing that i have noticed um you know, which I think maybe it's because maybe even early in the season, but they're not scoring as many points as they did in the past. And I think part of it is maybe a new quarterback. Who, you know, the quarterback that they had last year, he shoot, he'd been doing it every year since they'd been there, so he's pretty well versed. Um, and then I looked at the Kansas Westland right before we went to practice tonight. I was watching Kansas Westland, and really, I think that they um, they kind of offensively had control of it they just you know they, they're a couple of mistakes here and there that they had otherwise they were kind of having their way um picking up the pressure which that's going to be what coach mendez's job is to figure out how we can best protect this week because we expect Tired of the same boring burgers from yet another national chain? <sighs> Break that chain with a visit to Ottawa's locally owned and operated Primetime Grill. What have they got? How about eight kinds of salad for lunches that are light on calories and loaded with flavor? Maybe you'd like a big crispy platter of fish and chips. Hot wings? Pork loin. Of course, if you still want that burger, you can choose from seven mouth-watering options. Primetime Grill, what are you in the mood for? 132 conference championships, 146 NAIA scholar teams, 43 NAIA national tournament appearances, and 237 All-Americans. Ottawa University has a long and rich tradition of Braves athletes that continue to compete at the highest level of competition, utilizing state-of-the-art facilities, accomplished coaches, and a spirit that only comes from wearing the black and gold. Push yourself to limits you never imagined as a student athlete at Ottawa University. Visit ottawa.edu slash O-U-K-S. Ugh, my stomach. Don't worry, I've got you covered. When you have nausea, heartburn, indigestion, upset stomach, diarrhea. What's that? It's Pepto-Bismol Chews. Pepto-Bismol's in a chew? Yeah, they taste great and provide fast relief. And you can always have Pepto-Bismol handy. Ooh, let me try it. Try Pepto-Bismol Chews for fast relief. Nausea, heartburn, indigestion, upset stomach, diarrhea. Use as directed, keep out of reach of children. Well, back here again uh, at Primetime Grill for the Kent Kessinger Show on 1220-103.7 FM KOFO, KOFO.com. Uh, for the interwebs, you can find us on YouTube. Not that kind of stream, but this uh, you can find the audio. And uh, 
we were in the midst of getting a, a brilliant quote from defensive coordinator Nick Davis, and uh, we'll get the Cliff's Notes version here between Chance Scurry, Cameron Harrison, and Landon Barnes. You know, Bob, I'm just here so I don't get fined, but, uh, you know, we were talking about how hard they run the football, how they get off their offensive line gets off the football really well, and uh, they do a great job. You throw on the film, and those kids play hard. And I told our defense on Sunday this is an accountability week, and they need to be accountable to their job, to their teammates. So uh, we came out and practiced really hard today. I think this was our best day of practice we've had all season. The uh, look team on offense did an excellent job just going around, cutting people, and fullback dive, and uh, – just having a lot of fun too those guys uh, with it and uh, you know we just got to be accountable and we got to do our job and it's a big week with that coach mendez offensively uh, the key is, uh, we continue to talk about is going to be offensive line play uh, you're going to be facing a, a, a bethel defense that is uh, stout stout to say the least yeah i mean they're they're coached coached very hard and they and they get after it up front their front six really put a lot of pressure on you and give their back back end the opportunity to to play in coverage and make some plays um they're they're really aggressive last year against us they they probably blitzed about 70 percent of the time and so i wouldn't be surprised and what we were going into i told you on saturday before last week's game i'm trying to tell the offensive line that they're going to blitz every play and so going into this week, that's the same thing we're talking about in film sessions, going over and expecting the worst case scenario. That's kind of the rules of being an offensive lineman. You expect the worst case scenario, and that's what you prepare for. So that's what we're just trying to make sure we're prepared for and being able to make adjustments and, and work within our scheme to, to protect our quarterbacks and, and let them be themselves and be their own identity within our offense. Do you look at maybe bringing in extra protection, maybe go with two tight ends more than normal, things like that in, in a situation in a game like this? I mean, you, you want to be able to make adjustments and seeing their adjustments against adding more protection or how they play it is, is trying to be work into it. What we want to be able to do is, is be able to get the ball into our playmakers' hands and, and being able to work that into our offense. So. I'm never going to give away the gold, Bob. Uh, you never do, and I wouldn't expect anything less. Yeah. That's that's why we love you yeah. uh, for it's Coordinator's the, Corner. Yeah. And, and now, it's now, the, yeah. the Kent Kessinger Show. Yep. It's the Kent Kessinger School of Radio Analysis. <laughs> Absolutely, because uh, Lord knows I never got a thing out of Coach K on, uh, <laughs> when it comes to any of this. So, I mean, good to see that you're carrying the torch. Yeah. Carrying okay. the yeah. torch. you got to learn some things in a couple of years that I've been – around coach k so well, i i guess for everybody involved here because uh, bethel is they're they're a solid team but they can be very one-dimensional how do you keep your players from maybe not respecting other aspects of that of the bethel team that maybe aren't as strong and keep them focused on what could happen yeah for us offensively we just need to be able to to play within ourselves and and help our defense out by sustaining longer drives and productive drives i know i've said this every week with you bob but productivity on our on our offense is what we need to be and stringing some some first downs together and, and understanding that that's a part of the game is us being able to help out our defense and so i mean that's that's something for us we have to be able to do coach davis yeah on the defensive side their offense is really structured in a if you do this they are going to do that type thing so you have to understand maybe what the weakness of your defense is and prepare your kids for the type of plays that they are going to attack you with so it, it's pretty hard if you're doing something you haven't seen um to kind of anticipate that luckily we're doing a few things we've seen on film from other teams and things that we've seen in the past so uh, we think that we'll understand the plays that are going to hurt our scheme. Coach K, uh, and I'll I'd let you respond to that too. Well, I just think, you know, one of the things that we've 
looked at just be based on where we are so far in the season and then also playing a team like this is that we just need to keep it pretty simple you know um we're gonna keep it pretty simple on offense we're gonna keep it pretty simple on defense um you know we're gonna have a couple change-ups to make them think a little bit because that's one of the things in the triple option um that if you can make that quarterback hesitate and think and that sort of thing all of a sudden it throws off all the timing because it's a very timing based offense um you make him look back and do this thing or that thing and um the next thing you know they they're one dimension if you start taking it away it's the one thing that they don't have is they're not going to draw back and throw it 30 times a game you know they're going to play off of play action and um, you're going to see them try to get in themselves in the manageable downs to go in on third and fourth down and I know last year they went on a lot of fourth downs. I imagine they'll do the same thing as well. And, um, and then defensively against us, against our offense, they're just they're just going to bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it. And so we just got to make sure that we know who's working together. So you're going to work together in, in means and ways and a lot of zone things um, to be able to pick stuff up. And the quarterback's got to be able to get the ball off. And if we can do that, they really at times can put their safeties and and their secondary in binds because there's there's some spaces but we got to be able to have time to find those spaces how difficult is it with the last few weeks uh, to keep the players positive and keep keep them motivated and keep them uh and and, and progressing I mean, because it, it would be it could, it would be real easy to just say okay you know, I've had, I'm done. I've had enough. Or this just isn't working. But, but as coaches, how do you keep that from happening? Well, I think we're we're a little bit fortunate with is we got some old guys that you know have been through, you know, kind of the wars and stuff, and they understand that you know we've played some pretty good teams. I mean, we started off this season, we played at least two ranked teams, and um, you know we we hung in there and we battled and just got to figure out how to get over the hump a little bit. And, you know, to be honest with you, if you go into this game and everybody in the country and our KCAC, I mean, they're, they're not, they're not looking at Ottawa as being a, you know, I'm going to be that, that guy that's going to stand up to the Goliath that, you know, Bethel is. And so, you know, it's one of those things that as a football coach, you just go, you know what, we're playing against another good team. Let's just go out and get after it. You, what, if you're not in the competition, you should not be playing this game. So positive that way um, that, you know, hey, you guys got to get to go out and compete again against the team that, you know, that when we go back and we watch last year's film, there's a lot of things that we did really good against them um, and had some breaks that didn't go our way that kind of kind of snowballed a little bit. But it's a, it's that's the way that you go. You got to play. You got to play the game and you got to work hard and and uh, you have some fun. We, I think we did some things today that, that kind of had the kids have fun. I mean, I never seen some freshmen that we have a freshman quarterback that it was a from a uh, from a um, a team very offense very similar to what Bethel has. He's not. He was so excited on Sunday. I've never seen. I never seen him jump around more. You know, than that. He wanted ready to run flex bone and ready to get after it. And I think you guys stroked him up pretty good today. <laughs> And he's just, he was had a smile from ear to ear. He thought it was the greatest thing ever. So, so we're getting some guys to get some opportunities, you know, that, that help us. And I think that they're relishing that. Is there, is there any concern? And, and this could be for all three of you to answer about being too rah-rah as coaches. I think kids can see through fate, what we used to call fake juju. Um, I think they can see through that. And you just got to be honest with them, you know, and sometimes they don't like the honesty, but, you know, I think that they appreciate it in the end. And, and uh, you know, you just got to be able to go out and play. The thing about it is that you look every year and, and it doesn't matter if it's KCAC or, you know, the NFL or whatever it is, somebody, somebody does something that you don't expect them to do. And, you know, I look at our team and I go, why can't it happen this week with us in Bethel? So you just always keep it positive and you keep on battling. And, you know, I've been a, I've been a competitive guy my entire life. I don't, I don't think we can lose to anybody. You know, it's what happens in the game happens in the game. But the mindset is that you go out, you do your best, you give your best, you give your all. 
and what happens happens but you do that every day if you do that every day and that's where our kids i think are starting some of them to learn is that you have to do it every day you can't just show up and flick it on on saturday that's where i've gone wrong i just show up on tuesdays and flick it on i think is what what it is coach davis how about you i mean uh, do you do you ever find yourself or try to keep from the, finding that line of being too rah rah or too uh, old school. Let's put it that way. Well, I think uh, I try to bring the energy as much as possible every day. So I was just as energetic. I think on day one is what I was when we were one and three the other day. So uh, just constant with the kids and, and making them get better because ultimately we are we're playing a game and we want to win on Saturday. But it's more about the life lessons you're teaching the kids and consistency in life is the key and they got to keep after it no matter how bad things are or how good things are coach mendez you're mr rara i i can tell <laughs> that nobody is as energetic as coach davis because from drill to drill whether he's going to come work with the d-line or d-line and o-line work together he's going to come over and he's usually the first one in line to try to pump up one of my offensive linemen so it's fun but just like coach k said uh, most of the guys are going to be able to tell if you try to bring the fake juice so we don't try to bring the fake juice as much as possible we're going to try to get guys going um in their own way i've, I've never been one to the hoot and holler so it's just not it built in but it's uh you know when we get after our guys and make sure that they know that we love them um and and get them going as much as possible but uh, we, everybody brought a little bit of that juice today I made sure everybody went to Walmart because it was on sale. <laughs> I don't even know how to respond to that one there between the I'm just here so I don't get fined and then the juice is on sale at Walmart. I think we might as well just shut it down right here. We're not getting any better. We're not, we're not getting any better here. We're going to take our final break of the night. When we come back, we're going to play four questions and we're going to find out things about these three Nah, I'm going to leave it at that. We're just going to we're going to play four questions when we return. You are listening to the Kent Kessinger show live from Primetime Grill at Fusion Alley. And uh, you can uh, always follow Primetime Grill or Fusion Alley on Facebook and Instagram and all the fun social media that did, that is out there. Final break. We'll be back. You're listening to us on 1220 and 103.7 FM KOFO and KOFO.com. It's the perfect combination of food, fun, and football. The Kent Kessinger Show, Tuesday nights at Primetime Grill. And that combination just got even better because now you can enjoy the show while you enjoy a blast from the past. Poncho Super Cheese or Super Chili and Cheese Burrito. That's right, Poncho Super Cheese or Super Chili and Cheese Burritos are back. And they're only at Primetime Grill on Tuesdays. Enjoy all of your other menu favorites, the full-service bar, and more at Primetime Grill, 2204 South Princeton Circle Drive. For game time and Poncho's Burritos, it's prime time. Ottawa University has positioned itself as a distinctive and rapidly expanding institution known for its innovative educational models, exceptional value, and special ability to prepare diverse student populations for lifetimes of enlightened faith, exemplary service, inspired leadership, and personal significance. With numerous undergraduate and graduate degrees in business, education, arts and sciences, athletics, and more, you'll gain the specific expertise you need for a lifetime of significance and prosperity. Find out more by visiting ottawa.edu slash O-U-K-S. Hey, I just heard it was possible to get a customized auto quote from Liberty Mutual Insurance. 100% customized for what you need and not for what you don't. Have you ever asked, why should I pay for what I don't need? Like when I buy fancy mixed nuts, I don't want that big nut that takes up all the space. With Liberty Mutual, you can save money when you buy customized auto insurance. Pay only for what you need. This message was brought to you by Liberty Mutual Insurance. Visit LibertyMutual.com to learn more. The Franklin County Emergency Communication Center, Franklin County Sheriff's Office, Ottawa Police Department, and Wellsville Police Department would like to invite you to protect yourself from scams and fraud. No law enforcement agency or government entity will ever call to tell you that you have a warrant. No legitimate business or government entity will accept gift cards as payment for anything including fees, bonds, or taxes. Consider it a scam if someone you don't know is asking you to purchase a gift card and never give out any personal information. When it comes to being scammed, it is only appropriate to call law enforcement to report when you have lost property, money, or your identity has been stolen. Don't underestimate what scammers will do and say to you in order to get your information or money. 
when making online purchases, use caution, even when using trusted buyers or sellers. Use public parking lots or highly visible locations to exchange goods and use verified secure digital currency exchanges. Protect personal information. The identity saved could be your own. Brought to you by the Franklin County Emergency Communications Center and KOFO Radio. Today's job market is full of demand for skilled trade workers. Electricians, welders, mechanics, these and other trades are the backbone of every community. They're also a huge part in making sure the Army National Guard is always fulfilling its mission of service to our country and communities. Soldiers train to keep the power flowing, engines running, and supplies moving. The skilled trades these soldiers perform are the same ones needed in today's civilian workforce. Army National Guard soldiers are on the fast track to learning skills that can set them up for success at home with companies looking to hire the best. With options from plumber to helicopter mechanic and everything in between, soldiers are able to select the trades that best fit their lives. Their resumes are being built through their paid training and part-time service. Find out how you too can learn a trade profession and serve your community and country by visiting NationalGuard.com. Sponsored by the Kansas Army National Guard. Aired by the Kansas Association of Broadcasters and this station. Back here for the final segment of the night. Can catch at your show live from Prime Time Grill at Fusion Alley, and yes, we do. Got to say our hello. Got to say hello. Uh, Got to say hello to Roger Johnson, who is uh, apparently been uh, in the YouTube chat. Just, oh really? Yeah. So uh, hello to him. And, Sweet. Yeah. So I uh, get to see somebody out there uh, chatting away, and, and uh, so kudos to him. Yeah. So uh, I'll let you go. Well, saying hi to your mom and aunt. Yes, yes. They they should be listening yep. if they're not asleep. The Millers. Yep. The Millers are probably listening. My mother-in-law is listening. Amy's listening. Hello, Amy. Um, my folks are probably listening. I mean, yeah. you got Nick. You got anybody listening? You know, nobody. Uh, no. said what channel? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got it. We, yeah. So and. You know, Coach Mendes, I don't, I, I don't know if I can repeat repeat that on the air. So, he might get you in trouble at home. But I'm pretty sure that, uh, yeah, the World Wide Web. I mean, we we go all the way to Samoa and Guam now. I mean, yes. I mean, around the world, I, around I, the world and back. I want to say hello to Guam again tonight. Yeah, the Grogans. The Grogans, the Grogans. yes. Um, Doris and Jim. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of folks. We got a we got a big following, Bob. We have grown from the fax machine and modem. It has, it has in the modem. Yes. So, uh, all right, are we uh, are we ready for four questions? And so, do we all get the same question, or do we all take one question? Because there's only three of us, and that means somebody gets a bonus question. So we have to what rock paper scissors for it, or the, the and that's not a very good you know radio thing because you don't get to see the visual of it. I, it, this will be for everybody, so oh. so we'll uh, so we'll, we'll start out with which coach has more integrity, Les Miles or Ted Lasso? Ted Lasso. Ted Lasso. Uh, Ted Lasso. Okay. All right. All right. Who is the head of the Chechen Republic? Uh, Nick Davis. <laughs> the people. Vladimir something or other. Ramzan. Uh, I don't even. I'm not even going to butcher the last name. But uh, yeah, he's the. Yeah. Vladimir? No. Ramzan. Ramzan? Yeah. Cateroy. No. Corduroy. We'll go with Corduroy. Uh, okay. Okay. Third question. We, we failed miserably on that one. <laughs> That's all right. You, I think you guys will do really good with this okay. one. Okay. Is cereal soup like breakfast cereal? Like you yeah. get in the box, yeah, and that sort of thing. Yeah. No. No. Okay. I'm gonna go with no as well. Uh, nope. Uh, what's your go-to breakfast cereal? Uh, CTC all day long cinnamon toast crunch. Oh. Half regular Cheerios, half honey nut Cheerios because it has less sugar. Oh my. Gosh, that is, man, 
we're done. And mine is the Wheaties because it's the breakfast of champions. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Nothing, nothing wrong with a good frozen uh, cookie dough pop tart. I'm gonna just throw that out there. Frozen cookie dough pop tart? Absolutely. It is a gift from God. Yeah. Uh, all right. So fourth question. Fourth question. There, since there's probably time, we're gonna have a, a bonus fifth. So. Oh, okay. Uh, toilet paper over or under? Well, the way that it's made to go is over. Mm -hmm. That is the way that it was invented. Okay. My wife prefers over. I don't care, but it has been under before. So no disrespect to Dylan Foos and a couple of the other old veterans, Dakota Gettler, but I saw a meme that said beards are cool, which meant the toilet paper was over. Mullets aren't, which means the toilet paper was behind. I, I like that. So, okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, so bonus question. What would be an alternative to war that countries could use to settle their differences? A curling match. Okay. Well, I like where you're going there. A uh, football game, of course. All right. All right. Hmm. I was going to go with either rock, paper, scissors, or a pillow fight. Okay. Okay. But I think I'll, I'll, I'll stick with rock, paper, scissors, best two out of three. Oh, I like going just the two out of three. You get four out of seven. It's no. just, that's too much. Two out of three. Keep it short. Short, simple. Go. Bam, bam, bam. Rochambeau. That, well, that's, never mind. Uh, so, um, all right. That's four questions plus the bonus one. See, it was very, very painless. Very, very interesting. And uh, some great answers there. But you guys are just completely lost right now, aren't you? Oh, I think we're I think we're 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 all settled in. Okay, well, Mendez is over here staring off into space like Wade Davis, and so uh, we we do have a blinding light on us right here well, for for radio. We've got plenty of light for radio right we now. We got to make sure we have that. <laughs> well, if we had some mood lighting, things would probably probably think it's weird or something. So I don't know. Uh, so got a couple minutes left and. This is whole, this is going to be the final game out of a long stretch of some real tough competition. Not that there is a tough competition in the conference, but you know you, you start getting into the Tabers and the friends that have been struggling here after this week. What what final words would you have leading into this game on Saturday? What final words would I have? Well, I'm gonna let's do this. We'll start off with Coach Mendez and work our way back across the that, that'll from the work. radio dial from left to right. That'll work. So we got just a little uh, about two minutes. All right. So final words before this week against Bethel. Um, we've had our opportunities to really put some things together offensively and as a team. So now this week, it's it's we've been preaching about we have to put them together. We have to play a full game, um, and so I'm hoping we're able to go ahead and do that this week. So really put it together and, and play a whole team game. Yeah, we got seven games left, and this one's the, the most important we have this week. So why not? And, you know, it's one of those things that every once in a while, it's it's great to be the guy that's the underdog, you know, and go in there and, you know, just put up our best battle and see what we do. You know, the things that we can do right now is, like Coach Mendez says, is just improve. They give us an opportunity to play. Let's go out there and do our best. And I like that. I think that's it, – it's very rare that that this program has been the underdog you know, in, in the last 10 years or so. Uh, so th th that has to take some pressure off of everybody uh, in a sense because you can just go out and play. Which is what it should be like every day anyways, right? Yeah, absolutely. Is, you go out there, you can't, can't worry too much about – yesterday and you can't see nothing's tomorrow is not here yet so just might as well just take advantage of the day and so as we do that every day going up into saturday when we get to saturday it's just take advantage of the day and it's an afternoon game it's afternoon game one o'clock advent field yeah so uh come on out to advent health field check this one out and uh otherwise if you can't we'll have live audio and live video for you uh, at uh, 1220 and 103.7 FM KOFO, KOFO.com, uh, YouTube.com, AuttawaBraves.com, anything else I could throw a .com after that probably would be appropriate. 
we'll be there. And you can find links all over the place. So whether it be Twitter, but you'll you'll be able to find the game if you really want well, to find And it. make sure that you tune in early. Yes. To listen to the coordinators talk yes. in the only one hour pregame show in the KCAC. Because the person who puts it together is clinically insane. But that's <laughs> Yes, but but pregame does start at noon. Kickoff is at 1. Gentlemen, thank you so much. I I wasn't sure whether this was going to be a mafia hit or or what when you all three walked in, but uh, it went pretty well. I I, I think it went well. Well, it did, Bob. And what would you, I wouldn't expect anything less from these two. Well, you know, I wouldn't either. I wouldn't either. But that's going to wrap it up for us this week for the Kid Kessler. Celebrating over 70 years of information, sports, and entertainment. We are hometown proud. KOFO K279CS Ottawa. Here's the latest from ABC News. I'm Andy Field. A second dose of Johnson & Johnson 